Good day everyone! Today, I'm going to show you on how I make lacto-fermentation with carrots. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, prepare the materials and ingredients needed in making our lacto-fermentation. So I have here 3 pieces of carrots, 1 red onion, 2 cloves of garlic, and also a teaspoon, knives and chopping board, and also a peeler. I have here a medium-sized jar, and also salt and water for making brine. The first step is to peel your carrots. So as you can see, I am using peeler to make it easier. Once you're done, measure it with your jar in order to measure where it becomes fit. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I will cut this carrot here. I will cut this in order to be fit in our So next step, wash the carrots and cut it in the middle and make a stick size cut. Make sure that you wash your carrots in order to ensure that it's clean and away from bacteria. So after we wash it, Cut in the middle and make a stick size cut. Make sure that cut it in the proper portion and not too thick and not too thin. So after I cut the carrots, next is the onion and garlic. So I will use one up of this red onion and two cloves of garlic. Then next is the garlic. So I prepared the smashed garlic compared to the sliced one. Next is the making of brine. So I am using teaspoon because as our practice here in our home, we are depending or dependent in the size of the jar where we will put the fermented vegetable. So in, in my case, as you can see, I'm currently using medium sized uh, medium sized jar and two teaspoon of salt is effective and adequate to our fermented or lacto fermented carrots. And take note that the water that I'm using is already boiled earlier in order to ensure that this water is free from contamination and harmful microorganisms. So, let's go! Here. One. And two. After that, Make sure that you mix well the salt to water. Remember that 2% of 2% brine is enough and adequate for effective lacto fermentation with vegetables. So stir well. Make sure that Water and salt are mixed well. Mm -hmm. 
after making the brine, put the carrots inside the jar as well as the onion and the garlic. Make sure that you fill the jar with carrots. So here is the carrots. And next is the garlic and onion. And last but not the least, put the brine inside the jar to complete the fermentation process. So here, after that, so I will use this cellophane to ensure that the lid was tightly sealed so here and yeah we're done